It's a UFC lightweight division battle. So here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 153 pounds. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA, the Nightman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 30 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Eddie Alvarez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get right. back to his feet. And quickly. Whether the submissionist goes to his back or is on top, you've got to make Plan number one, getting back standing is getting back to your space. If not, you're gonna find yourself tapping and really wondering why. Why did I not engage him in this game? Look at you dropping a submissionist on this, huh? Ah, it's crazy. Changes levels now, DC. Oh man, he was in a single, got to a high crotch. the body here inside mount nicely played back to the feet now very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh. and just inches away from landing one of those big right hands well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh, nice punch there by Alvarez. And they separate. Ooh, Ooh we what a right hand by this young man. Unable to land with that punch. Taken down now by Eddie Alvarez. 
Both fighters back to their feet now. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, big punch land. Big power shots landing. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with that one. So he's really starting to put together some signals. A perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. Trying to stay in this fight! Huge block there. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. 90 seconds now to go in this one. All right, working inside the closed guard now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but what a start for this man tonight. Aggressive to a fault. Staying technical, though, and very accurate with his strikes as well. Good start for him here tonight. Now he's got the boy time clock. Able to check that kick as well. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. Doing a great job of putting everything together. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of his position off the bottom. Five minutes in the books. Stop, stop, stop. All right, that's the end of the round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. Oh, nice right hand. And he continues to work the body here. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landed this big body kick. And he landed the right hand there. In there by Alvarez. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the gun. An elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, and he hip tosses him. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's gonna try to control him, then find a submission. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the year. This could be the beginning of the end. 
We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really shown it. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your base. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Well, he's really picked up the pace here. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Oh, nice. Beautiful knee. Alvarez gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. He lands the right hand. Nice double leg shot. Oh, slams him down with conviction, man. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground. Tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Alvarez's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Ground and pound strike there now. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Oh, you don't want to be anywhere near his guillotine. This could be trouble. Oh, nice guillotine there. to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Nice loop of one. one. Oh, makes a perfect body shot there. He's still like that. The fight is over. He got it. Oh, oh. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched Glow. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Nightman. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.